welcome to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Bet y'all thought I got eaten by a polar bear, didn't ya? Polar bears won't eat me because they're my, my kin. Uh-huh. Anyway, we got some shoutouts to do for you guys tonight, so let's get started! Yay! Yay! Let's start with welcomes to the neighborhood. Jessica M., welcome to the neighborhood. CS3345, shout out to you and welcome to the neighborhood. Check out their channel. Sherry Lynn, welcome to the neighborhood. She's over from Mom's Vlog 80. So thank you very much, Sherry Lynn, and thank you very much, Mom's Vlog 80. Pamela Hicks, welcome to the neighborhood. She also has a channel. Make sure you guys go by and check her out. Bobby Studer, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Louisa Dubicus, welcome to the neighborhood. And she has a channel, so make sure you go by and check out her channel. And we probably mispronounced your name, so <laughs> go ahead and let us know. Yeah, if we do mispronounce anybody, let me know. I'll fix it next week. Mr. Haunt Guy, welcome to the neighborhood. And make sure you go by and check out his channel as well. Little LB, welcome to the neighborhood. Make sure you go by and check out her channel. She has an awesome channel. Go Dogs Full, if we got it wrong, let me know. Welcome to the neighborhood. And make sure you go by and check out his channel. He's got an awesome channel. And Vin Vlogger, welcome to the neighborhood. She's over from Jessa J. If you guys cool. don't know who Jessa J is, go check her out as well as <laughs> Vin Vlogger. Welcome back to Whitney Broderson. It's been a while since she's been on and I'm glad to have her back. And she's been trying to help me with so many suggestions on my sleeping. But you all have been trying to help me. And I'll let you all know, with being manic, all those natural remedies don't help because it's not a matter of not being tired. It's a matter of not shutting my mind off. Can't do that. That's the issue. Anyway, congrats to kitties at the E on their new Siberian Husky puppy. I would love to see some pictures of that. So if you can, send us some pictures. I love Siberian Huskies. And Elizabeth Childs, congratulations on your new addition to your family, your new kitten. Okay, we got some birthdays this month. Okay, Kara's Life on the Farm. Happy birthday to Carter, which CS3345 is his channel. So make sure you go by and check out his channel and give him a birthday shout out. And happy birthday to Carter. Clarin, which is her daughter. They both have birthdays this month, so happy birthday to the two of you. Julie Haselberg and her husband John, happy anniversary. Mom's Vlog 80, Ronnie and Melody, happy anniversary to you guys. Ours is coming up. Shh. <laughs> Hippie Baby Mama, happy birthday, Max. That's one of her sons. Faith, Hope, and Love, happy birthday to Christine. Faith, Hope, and Love, happy birthday to Bethany. She's 18 this month. Happy birthday, Bethany. I hope you have a great day. Very Merry Vlogs, happy anniversary to you and your hubby on October 13th, which is today. today. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Vin Vlogger, happy birthday! Her birthday comes this month. Make sure you guys go and check out her channel. She's awesome. Okay, back to thoughts and prayers, guys. Elizabeth Child's cat, Chauncer, passed away, and he's finally in a better place. That's why she did get a new kitten, and um, congratulations on your new kitten, and thoughts and prayers for Chauncer, who's, who's got moved on to a better place. Jerry Carl Colburn, family member, passed away on October 2nd at the age of 24 from a lung infection. 
very sorry to hear that, Jerry, and our thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family. Terry Johnson's cousin John was in the ICU. Um, she did send us an update, and unfortunately, he did pass away on Tuesday from a heart attack. Terry's, Terry Johnson's sister-in-law's mother, Faith, who we gave thoughts and prayers for last week, um, has passed away as well. So, Terry Johnson, wow. our thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family on such tremendous loss at this time. Uh, Susie here. Um, Thoughts and prayers go out to you. She drove all the way to work the other day, pulled into the parking lot, and her car burst into flames. So thank God that you are safe and so sorry about your car, but our thoughts and prayers do go out to you. And thoughts and prayers go out to everybody else who um, are in need of thoughts and prayers and did not make it onto our list or who have not asked us for thoughts and prayers and welcome to all of the new subscribers who have subscribed to us and have not left comments if you want to have a shout out just leave us a comment down below that you're new and we'll be happy to give you a shout out on next week's shout out okay my question last week was what is the longest road trip you have ever been on where were you going and why you want to answer that one me? Yeah, why don't you answer that one first? Uh, I probably got everybody beat because uh, back in uh, back in the Stone Age when I was a teenager, uh, I went on a um, national tour with a, a, a drum and bugle corps called the Anaheim Kingsmen. And we were on a three-month tour. I slept on a bus for three months. Wow. I'd say that's the longest one. Yeah. We went all the way up. Through from through Nevada, Colorado, Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin to Philadelphia, and then back through the low, uh, the southern states. That's a long trip. I've been on a few cross country trips, uh, as you all know. Recently, my most recent one was driving from uh, North Carolina to California. And I absolutely love driving cross country. Absolutely love it. And I am looking very much forward to making our drive to New Hampshire from California and making some <coughs> stops along the way and visiting some of you guys. So, but I'm going to read a few of your guys' answers. Destiny Swan. Um... Our longest road trip was in June of 2010 to El Paso, Texas, to my husband's mom's funeral. We stopped in Colorado to spend or to sleep and continued on our way the next morning. Coming home, we drove straight through as we didn't have money to stay at a hotel. We took 18 hours to get home. Me and my husband took turns driving. It's always nice to go, I mean, it was a sad trip that you went on, but it's always nice to go with someone that you love or, or get along great with and someone that you can share the driving with as well. So um, that sounds like it was a nice trip. Susie here. I traveled from north central Ohio to New Orleans. What a fun place to go to. We went with a large group of teenagers to clean up from Hurricane Katrina. We got there to clean, clear a house down to the studs. It was very interesting because we found furniture and pictures all ruined by the floods still in the houses as if they still lived there. It was a very humbling experience. Mm. Very far trip to take, uh, but for very, very noble reason and um, very, very nice, nice thing to do. Betsy Wetsy. I drove my Uncle Tommy's car cross country when I was 17 with my mom. We were not only delivering my uncle his car, but we also were bridesmaids in his wedding. I was so super excited because I was getting to meet Brian Adams, who was also attending the wedding. During the tr that trip, Brian sent a limo for my uncle and his wife and me to attend his concert with backstage passes. 
was truly a trip I will never forget. Knowing I was meeting Brian, I had my nails done special with each letter of his name spelled out on my nails. Oh, to be young again. Good memories. I would say that would be an outstanding trip and something that definitely I would remember for the rest of my life. Aussie Flicks. Uh, longest road trip was up north Victoria to Queensland, Australia with a girlfriend when we were both 21 years old just for the sake of it to hang out and have fun. Shh. That's what she says. I want to know what happened on that trip now. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to uh, fill me in on some of those little uh, shh well, parts. Ask your <laughs> if your friend is watching, hit me up and tell me some of the secrets that t went on on that trip. That's right. <laughs> And the last one that I'm going to read is Margatette Clevenger. My longest road trip would be with my mom. We lived in Pennsylvania, drove to Las Vegas. It was a long one, but was so beautiful. We decided to live there for a long time, but we got homesick and moved back to Pennsylvania. Vegas is well worth the trip. I don't care if you like to gamble or not like to gamble. Just going to Vegas to experience the lights and the different hotels and the different themes is such an experience that if you've never gone to Vegas and you have the chance to go, I would say take the opportunity to go because it is well worth it. So, my question for this week is, what is the most unusual job you have ever had? There you go. Yours must be a dog holder. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Oh, I get the dog? Of course you get, get the, the dog. dog. The polar bear is holding the dog. Okay. Hey, hey. So, last week's question, and I can actually say last week because it was last week. <laughs> Uh, it was about a movie called Monster in the Closet from 1986. It was one of those trauma movies, if you uh, know trauma movies. Um, and the question was, who was in the movie that you'd be surprised who was in the movie who were, had, were huge stars now? Uh, and the answer was Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, she was there under her real name, Stacy Ferguson. And she was probably... Had no front teeth. It's funny. Um, and uh, Paul Walker. And it wasn't just a small role for him. He actually had a major role in the movie. And um, so those are the two. And um, the those who got that correct was Tanya Longley, Terry Johnson, and the Abyss 92882. Okay. Tonight, we're going to talk about... Uh, since it's an election year, uh, we're going to do the purge election year. <laughs> that was from this year, strangely enough. Um, my question is a strange one. For those of you who know the movie, uh, there's a reference to a candy bar called Apollo Candy Bar. What other shows does that show up in? There's your question. There you have it, guys. You need to take the dog so I can have my hands free. There you have it, guys. Your trivia question for the night and your question of the week. We love each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. Thank you so very, very much. We greatly appreciate you all. We love you thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff, especially the Monday Night Trivia. We do give out prizes for that. And stay tuned because we are going to be doing the Colored Letter Scramble Giveaway announcement on who the winner of that coming up next. See you guys soon! Bye! Bye! Do you have the remote? <laughs> no, I have a dog. I, I have the remote.